my gosh, that color. Man, this thing's got killer stance. It looks wicked. In case you're unfamiliar with the show, Iron Resurrection is a reality TV show that revolves around Marin Bros Customs, a car shop in Texas Hill County that had built quite a reputation for itself right before it got the Discovery Channel deal. The car shop Martin Bros specializes in bringing irredeemable automobiles back to shape. You must have seen quite a lot of automobile themed shows that either focus on the exterior only or interior only, but Iron Resurrection is different. It focuses on all aspects down to painting. It looks like a masterpiece of metalwork. Talking of all aspects, the show boasts of capable cast members, with Joe Marin being the star of the show and his wife Amanda Marin doing the finance aspect. Other cast members like Jason Martin, Arrington, and other contribute massively to making the show addictive to viewers at home. While all cast members work as a team to achieve the goal of each episode, the brilliance of Joe Martin shouldn't be left undiscussed, don't you think so? Make it a little different. So when you pull this car up next to another stock 65 Falcon, you know, somebody's going to be scratching their head going, what'd they do to that car? I mean, I mean you, you get them the deluxe drawing. Well, it's just a quickie sketch. For a man to single-handedly promote his craft and announce himself to the world, his work led Discovery Channel to give him the Iron Resurrection gig, and even with that, he has been running the business with friends and family for a while without compromising quality. He deserves some accolades, so let us get into what happened to star TV personality Joe Martin. Joe Martin, originally from Illinois, is based in Texas with his family, where he has his car shop. You might have come across some write-up about Joe Martin claiming to be born and brought up in Texas. This is not true. Joe Martin has cleared the notion of being a Texas born some years back. He only moved to Texas at age 10, where he now calls home. Talking about his early childhood, Joe Martin never had it easy learning the basics of mechanics. He spent a lot of time doing self-learning and learning from anything he could get his hands on. Joe learned a lot from his surroundings and other resources online, which prepared him for the future that we all live in now. The preparation of his childhood now pays his bills and he employs his friends and family. Joe Martin came into stardom when his exploits at Biker Build-Off came to the notice of Discovery Channel. Joe Martin started off with bike renovation before switching to all automobiles after some years of experience in that. His childhood mentor, Connington Boyd, would be more than proud of his achievements. Joe Martin isn't just a TV personality and automobile customizer. He's a machinery designer and fabricator with a lot of projects to his name. Joe Martin is happily married to his better half, Amanda Martin, who's always beside him on the show. Amanda left her banking job to join her husband as a financial expert on the show after some good years working in the banking sector. Amanda Martin once worked at the prestigious Wells Fargo and served as a vice president of another bank in America before quitting in search of a less strenuous job. It was during the time she was hinting for a job Joe Martin landed Iron Resurrection, and Amanda had no choice but to join her husband and make his dreams a reality. Now, Amanda could be seen doing the negotiations when Joe Martin wants to buy some dead cars for new projects. That is the smoothest couple goal I have seen in a while. Joe Martin and his wife Amanda live a very quiet life, and information about them hardly seems online, although there are a lot of fabricated stories about them having kids, which seems untrue. There are different versions of stories about the Martins online. Some say Amanda shielding her kids from the public due to some health challenges, but the truth is Amanda's nephew Luke is the one suffering from a plastic glioma and aggressive brain cancer. Amanda, being a TV personality, decided to use her influence to crowdfund and raise awareness for these ailments. And that explains her part in the hospital project. Joe Martin and Amanda also play a major role in creating awareness for pets. Amanda's being a dog lover is their number one influencer, and the family disclosed they have four dogs in their home. Joe and Amanda have Dolly, Flea, Hazel, and Blue, with intentions of getting more dogs in the future. Having cool cars, bikes, and dogs to spend time with is another level of luxury. Joe Martin and Amanda Martin love promoting their crafts. They attended some events a couple of months ago to network with like minds. They also attended classic truck and motorcycle show hosted by Devil's Backbone Tavern and the just concluded Emerald Coast Cruise and event to sell their merchandise. Well, Joe Martin has gotten up his sleeves in recent times. He's just being a private person as usual. His last interview was about questions about him, his job, and his family, which he answers to the best of his ability. 
In the interview, Joe was asked the reason behind the success of Iron Resurrection, and he replied, What you see is what you get on our show. There aren't a lot of antics on it. We refuse to do that. Our viewers like the educational side of things. We're not actors. We think that added drama is ridiculous, and we refuse to do any of that on our show. On his quest to find greener pastures, Joe was asked how he went on from a regular hot rod builder to a reality TV star. His answer is it any different from the story we all know. I had done biker build off years before, and those producers approached us because they needed automotive content for the Velocity channel. We made a teaser reel and presented it to them, and it stuck. They liked it, and now my brother's actually one of the producers on the show. We're three seasons into the show, and it's been really good for us. The TV schedule is tough, but it's the best advertising we could ever ask for. There's a notion that a business that features families and friends won't be around for long. Martin Bros Cousins has defied that, and I also need to differ. Jill Martin, in his recent interview, explained how he managed that aspect of his life. The work-life balance can be tricky. My brother works on the production side now. He's out getting location releases signed and things like that. My wife does all the finances, so she's in the office the whole time, so we don't see each other a lot. We all have our roles, which luckily keeps us from working on top of one another and getting on each other's nerves. We are so busy, we honestly don't have time to fight. There are a lot of automobile-themed shows that also have the same unique content as Iron Resurrection, but frequent fights and irrelevant drama made it annoying. A quick sneak peek into American Chopper, where Tuttle Sr. fired his son, Tuttle Jr., and that brought about the end of one of the greatest automobile shows. Iron Resurrection cast members also have their share of dramas, but it doesn't go beyond banters and laughter. Joe Marn said, just like any shop, we have our guys playing jokes on each other and stuff like that, and a lot of that makes it onto the show. We don't need any of that dramatic crap. We want our show to be educational and funny, and make the average guy want to go out and learn more about cars. I feel like the viewers can definitely tell when the drama is staged. Viewers are not stupid, and sometimes we have to remind our producers of that. We're the viewers of these shows, and we know what those people want to see. There's something about automobile show hosts, they have a favorite car, but due to professionalism, they refuse to announce it due to reasons best known to them. Well, Joe Marn disclosed this during his interview, and you could guess right, it was a 67 Nova. When asked what his favorite car that was featured on Iron Resurrection was, he answered, One of my favorites was a 67 Nova. It was a car I always wanted all my life, but never really ran across the right one. That car was traded to us by a customer. We shot the whole thing, and I ended up with Nova. Another favorite is probably the 50 Merc we did. We chopped it, and it ended up being a rust bucket, so we got to hand make everything, which was kind of cool. We were really proud of that car. We live vicariously through all these cars. They're all different, and you learn something from each one. Some projects aren't as well financed as others, so you have to use your imagination to make them stand out. You can't always just throw a bunch of money at it. I think that's why people relate to the cars we do on our show. When off camera, Joe Martin loves to have some private time working on designs for his next project. He also engages in some family time with Amanda and the dogs. Joe Martin also runs some personal business outside Iron Resurrection, which explains his net worth of $3 million. Joe Martin's personal beliefs have kept the show free of irrelevancies. Do you think Iron Resurrection will stay around for a long time?